Hello everyone, Ray here. Gaming and portability are not necessarily linked together, but these Apex a quad core i7 processor, a GTX 1060 graphics card, and a 13 inch OLED touch screen. I've been using it for more than a month now, so let's dive into it. Alright, the Alienware 13R3 is indeed well presented. And by the way, a 13 inch laptop, but it weighs like a 15 inch one. But in terms of portability, if you are putting it into a backpack anyway, the size becomes more important than the weight. And we can tell the Alienware is actually not that massive at all, as some people might have said. The difference between a typical 13 inch Ultrabook and the Alienware is mainly the fan. It could be strange for some people who are less likely to accept new designs or something out of the box, but for me, the dual tone design, black and silver, looks extraordinary. The silver and black theme together with the angular design, it is kind of like a hybrid between business and gaming. Professional looking, but aggressive at the same time. If you find the black and red theme on other gaming laptops a bit boring, it is the one that suits you and me. While on the left, we have a massive fan exhaust, a legacy USB port, and yes, a separated 3.5mm microphone and headphone jack. And finally, one of the two speakers. On the right, we have another fan exhaust, another old-fashioned but useful USB port, and finally a Type-C port, and another speaker to complete the dual speaker setup. Ports are literally everywhere on this monster. We have two extra fan exhausts on the back, an Ethernet port, mini display port, full-size HDMI, another Type-C port with Thunderbolt 3 support, an Alienware graphics card amplifier port, and last but not least, the charging port. For the full specifications, I've got here an i7 7700HQ quad-core processor and the GTX 1060 graphics card. They are of course insane. But the super-fast PCIe drive, 32GB of RAM and the gorgeous quad-HD OLED display add up and make it a laptop that not everyone's gonna buy. Anyway, user experience. First of all, everyone would have noticed the blinking infrared sensor right next to the webcam. And yes, that's for Windows Hello. Another cool feature that you would have noticed at the first place is the OLED display. The black is completely black. Those pixels actually will only light up when it's needed. If it's black, they just sit here and shut themselves off. So the contrast ratio is terrific, while the colors are also ridiculously saturated. Gaming and video watching experience undoubtedly top notch on this monster. Just imagine on a starry night with a clear deep black sky. On an LCD backlit display, you will never get this pure, inky effect. Amazing. And the most importantly, the experience not gonna change or deteriorate as you or your friends look at the display from an extreme angle. With minimal latency, we have to give Alienware or Dell a huge applause. It is simply the best we can get on the market. It is also the only 13-inch OLED VR-capable laptop, so yeah, take my money. The only concern is if you've got a whole lot of professional work that require a fantastically calibrated display, it's not the one you are looking for, or you will have to pull down the saturation later on manually. It's 2017, RGB is a must, but Alienware has taken a step further with this gorgeous trackpad. Thank Dell for bringing it here from the last year's larger 15-inch model. And yes, there we have the dedicated mouse click buttons. It tracks accurately and the dedicated buttons eliminate any possible unexpected mouse clicks. A really nice trackpad indeed. While the Tactx keyboard allows sending unlimited numbers of commands all at once, the 2.2mm travel is also magnificent on a laptop. The feedback is also much stronger than I've expected from this laptop. Impressive. Performance-wise, the i7-7700HQ quad-core CPU and the GTX 1060 graphics card deliver desktop-like performance. Video editing on this machine is a breeze and is flawless. 
having all the video denoise saturation and other effects including sharpening and shadow lifting activated at the same time, it still manages to render all the frames in real time at full HD resolution. Amazing. It is absolutely the smoothest experience I've got on a laptop, while for gaming the GTX 1060 graphics card basically kills all modern titles with high or very high graphics. I can get stable 60fps in GTA Online with very high graphics and 2 times anti-aliasing. With that amazing display, again, gaming experience second to nothing. Alright, with the flawless performance, we are getting some really distracting, seriously loud fan noise. But anyway, we are getting a pair of seriously loud speakers as well. Although there's no subwoofer or that kind of things, the mids and the highs are crystal clear, with a slightly warmer tone, which is great. Last, but one of the most essential elements of a laptop, the battery life. It could vary a lot if you are browsing the web or watching videos on YouTube, expect 4-5 to five hours of usage. But once the GTX 1060 kicks in, like when I was exporting a video or gaming, the battery dies in 1.5 hour. So it is a portable 13-inch gaming laptop with extraordinary performance, but you will have to carry the power brick with you to actually enjoy it. Ok, before we wrap the things up, here we've got a potentially fatal problem. This laptop lags a lot, randomly everywhere except doing heavy stuff like gaming when a dedicated graphics card is kicked in. This kind of experience unacceptable. But luckily, it seems to be only software problems, especially the drivers. Nvidia Optimus for the GTX 1060 is not perfectly optimized to run on a KB Lake machine yet. For now, disable the graphics card and turn it on only when it's needed. The machine flies again. Hopefully there will be a proper solution sooner or later. All in all, an exceptional sensational design with top-notch build quality, a really outstanding stunning display with pure inky deep black and vibrant colour. Performance that's really the best we can get on a 13-inch laptop. Adequate battery life for doing light stuffs, but not for gaming and heavy tasks. A great trackpad and a fantastic keyboard. Not much for me to complain. So here we have the Alienware 13R3, such a beautiful machine. Like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. There are also two videos for you to click to watch next. See you next time.